What does reopening the economy mean? That's a good because question. it's one yeah. thing, it's one thing for the president and for governors around the country. And I would love for the economy to reopen. Yeah. I'm, I, I, yeah. I want to go back to work. I, I want to sit next yeah. to my colleagues. Yeah. I miss <laughs> right. them. I, I, right. I really do. I want things to go back to no, normal. Right. But they can tell us that the economy is reopened. But does that mean we're going to go to the movies? Does that mean we're going to go to Broadway shows? Does that mean we're going to go out to dinner? Does that mean we're going to drop our kids off at daycare? Does that mean we're going to stop working from home? And does that mean these 16 million people are going to be rehired right away? So it's a great point. And it's obviously the most important point of all is that there's two questions there. When do we do it, right? And how do we do it in terms of reopening the economy? Now, I'm not suggesting that Monday, everybody's gonna go back to work and we get to be back to normal, far from it. And you're also right that this has been a decision by governors more than it has been the federal government. Although I think that if the White House and Congress got behind the idea of, hey, let's get people back to work where it's safe to do so, I think that would be an extremely positive thing for the, uh, for, uh, the economy. And, and I'm simply making the case in places where it's safe, and then also uh, with respect to uh, 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 certain kinds of jobs where you can you can social distance on the in the workplace, you can use best practices. Let's not forget we have half of our businesses are up and running; they're at full force. And th I've talked to a lot of the CEOs of these companies, trucking companies, FedEx, uh, uh, Amazon, that are up and running around the country, and they've had very low rates of illness because they're using best practices. So we have to have testing, we have to have uh, uh, you know, best medical uh, know-how being put in place to keep the workers safe, but we can do it in certain areas. For example, it's one thing to keep New York City shut down and it's gonna have to be shut down for a while, but it's another thing to keep Boise, Idaho or Sheboygan, Wisconsin or Lincoln, Nebraska shut down. Those are the places that can start to get reopened uh, pretty quickly. Now, Steve, uh, let's talk about politics here, because I remember back to 2008, uh, then yeah, Senate Senator Obama asked a simple question over and over again as the U.S. headed into the Great Recession. Are you better off now than you were four years yeah, ago? In response, sure. uh, Senator, Senator McCain said, I am not George W. Bush. That is what he had to say. Uh, up until six weeks ago, President Trump's strongest selling point for re-election in November was the incredibly strong economy, the historically yeah. low unemployment. That has absolutely shifted right now. It seems to me all Democrats need to do is ask the question, are you better off now than you were four years ago? You're thinking to yourself, OK, I'm under self-quarantine. My 401k has, okay. has gone sure. to junk. How does the president navigate this? Well, you're right that, you know, five, it's amazing. It was just five weeks ago, we had the best economy in 40 years and the economy was just soaring. I mean, we had monster jobs reports and everything was looking so positive. Uh, six and a half million surplus jobs, wages were rising. Uh, so I think what Trump is going to say is, look, I showed how we rebuilt the economy three years ago, it created this blockbuster economy, we can do it again. And that's what he said at his press conference the other 